In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Unity project for hand tracking and pass through. There are four steps that we'll have to follow. First is to create a Unity project and download all the packages. Then we'll set up the project for VR development. Next, we'll set up the scene and the final step would be to build it and test it onto a headset. The first thing to do here is to create a new project. Now for this video, I'll be using the Unity version 2021.3.23 F1 LTS. So this is the latest version that's available at this moment and also I made sure to add the Android build support module to it. Next you can go to projects, click on create new project. Here you can either use 3D render pipeline or 3D URP render pipeline. Now I'm going to use a URP render pipeline because I'll be using the same project later on for creating portals and portals require stencils which is available only on the universal render pipeline. So I'm going to select this and let's give our project a name probably call it as hello world and then click on create project. All right, so here we have a unity project open. Now before we download the packages, let's click on file, build settings and select Android and switch the platform. Once that's done, you can close this window, open your web browser and search for Oculus integration under Unity Asset Store. Once you are in this page, you can click on add to my assets and you can sign in if you haven't done it already. And then you can click on open in Unity and open in Unity editor. Now this should open up the packages in the package manager of your Unity project. So we'll wait for that to load. All right, so here we have the Oculus integration is saying version 51, which is the latest version that's available for us right now. All right, hang on a minute. So that version was when I was recording the video, but right now version 54 has been released. You can go ahead and import the latest version. Version. Probably sometime in the future if you're watching this video then a later version might have been released but generally the import procedure and the unity setup procedure are going to remain the same. If we feel that there are any major changes then we'll definitely make a new video for that. All right so let's get back in. Let's click on import. Now if you haven't done this before then you will have an option to download it. So first you'll have to download it and then you'll get an option to import it as well. Now this should open up a new window which says import unity package and it has the oculus integration. Click on import once again. While importing you'll receive a prompt asking if you want to upgrade to the latest version of OVR plugin so we'll click on yes and then we'll click on restart and it's recommended to clean up the assets so if you are doing it for the first time you might not get it but since I already have the older packages so it's recommending me to clean up so I'm going to click on that I'm going to click on clean up and I'm going to click on clean up packages then you'll receive one more prompt if you want to upgrade to the latest version of a plugin that has been detected so we'll click on upgrade we'll click on restart and this should restart the unity project so I'll see you once it reopens once the project has reopened you can click on packages drop down here click on unity registry and search for oculus xr plugin so you can select that and click on install once that's done you can scroll all the way down till you find xr plugin management so this should also have been automatically installed if not make sure to install this as well all right so with that we have created a new unity project and downloaded all the packages that we need next we'll set up the project for vr development now to set up your project click on file build settings Click on player setting and here first thing that we want to do is to change the company's name. I'm going to write it as Immersive Insiders. Product name is going to be Hello World, version is going to be the same. That's completely fine. Then you can click on the Oculus tab over here and click on fix all and click on apply all. Now this is an amazing feature that Oculus has recently introduced in its latest packages. So just with two clicks it's going to set up the entire project for you. So now you can close these windows. And next, we'll see how to set up the scene. Let's start the scene setup by changing the sky box. To do that, click on Windows, Rendering, Lighting. Select the Environment tab and let's change the sky box material from default to Skybox Gradient. There we go. Let's close this window. Next, we'll add the room environment. So in the project window, you can search for room environment. Select this prefab, drag it and drop it into the hierarchy. Now this prefab comes along with a package. So we're going to use this. Next, we'll get rid of the main camera and search for interaction rig OVR. So we'll search for that. Here we go. We have the interaction rig OVR. Select it and drag and drop it into the hierarchy once again. Now this prefab comes along with uh, two more child prefab. So one is the OVR camera rig and the OVR interaction. Now the OVR camera rig has all the components that are uh, required for rendering the game visuals onto your headset. It also tracks the controllers and your head movement. The next prefab that we have is the OVR interaction. So right now it has just OVR HMD. Now we need to add the controllers. So let's search for OVR controllers and we need the OVR controller, not the prefab, 
we need just the OAR controller. So this is the one that we want. Now, since we are using URP, the shaders are looking pink. I'll show you how to fix that as well. For now, you can select the OVR controller, drag it and drop it inside OVR interaction prefab. Next, since we are using just the quest controller, so what we'll do is we'll select the OVR visual and in here we'll select for the quest touch controller. Open this. Let us see where the material is. Here we go. So OVR for rift it is, but I think it should be fine. We can select this, click on edit, rendering, materials and convert it to build it for urp materials click on proceed so here you can see that uh, it's there for the rift one but we need it for quest 2 so we're going to select quest 2 controller we'll select the mesh we'll select the touch controller once again and follow the same process which is edit rendering materials and convert it click on proceed so we have the touch controller material back into place so the rest of them i'm not going to do it because i'm using quest 2 and we have the quest 2 material as we want it to be all right so now we can save the scene and let's test it out on our headset so i connected my headset to the laptop using airlink now if you want to know how to do that then you should definitely check out this video over here all right i'm gonna get the game view down over here and let's press play and i can see the vr environment i can see my controllers my head and the controllers are getting tracked perfectly as well so let's remove the headset and let's exit the play mode all right so with that we have set up a scene for vr development wherein we can use our controllers for interaction next we'll set it up for hand tracking as well and doing that is really simple all you need to do is in the project window search for OVR hands and this is the one that we need OVR hands dot prefab open the OVR interaction so we need to put it inside this game object so select it drag it and drop it inside OVR interaction next you need to click on OVR camera rig and scroll down and here you need to make sure that the hand tracking support is controllers and hands if you have it as only controllers then it will not work select controller and hands let's save the scene and let's play this and test it out okay so here my controllers are getting tracked I'm gonna keep it down and yeah here you can see that my hands are detected as well all right so now let's see how to set up the scene for pass through as well once again it's really simple all you need to do is select the interaction ovr rig we'll select the ovr camera rig now here you need to make sure that you have checked pass through supported as supported if it is none make it supported and scroll down and you need to enable pass through so make sure you have that checked as well then click on add components and you need to add the OVR pass through layer this is the component that we need and then you can change the placement from overlay to underlay and there's one last thing that we need to do and that is to open this prefab open the tracking space select the center eye camera and here we want to change the background type from skybox to solid color now before we test it out there's one more thing that we need to do and that is to open up your oculus app go to settings click on beta and here you need to make sure that you have the pass through over link cable enabled so make sure this is enabled or else you'll not be able to test it from your unity project now let's minimize this and now let's hit play and test it out so i can see my controller here and i can see all the 3d objects as well so in the game view what you're able to see in the blue environment i'm able to see that room here so basically you cannot see it because of privacy issues but i'm able to see my room and all the objects that are there here as well so the pass through is working perfectly fine all right so with that we have set up our scene for vr development wherein we can use our controller hands and we also saw how to set it up for pass through as well now let's move on to the last part of the video wherein we build this application onto our headset and test it out so to do that you have to go to file build settings and here make sure to add the open scene that is sample scene make sure you are on the android platform and then you also need to connect your headset using the link cable to your laptop or pc and then click on build and run now here we'll go ahead and create a new folder we'll call this as builds and let's select this folder and we'll call the file name as test and then click on save now this is going to take some time for the app to get built so i will see you once that's done all right so the application has been successfully built i can see the room environment i can see that my hands are getting tracked i can see my room as well 
you're not able to see it you'll be able to see a blue color sky box and that's because i'm using oculus casting right now now oculus has strict privacy policies and they do not let you share your anybody's environment with anybody else so if you want to know how to record your pass through to share it with your friends then you should definitely check out this video over here now let me quickly grab the controllers and see if uh, these work as well yeah the controllers are working perfectly fine so with that we have successfully tested the application now let's exit it all right so with that you have learned to set up your unity project for vr development using the oculus integration sdk you also saw how to set up your scene for hand tracking and pass through as well now in the coming weeks we have some more videos lined up wherein we show you how to use hand tracking and pass through to create some cool application so make sure to subscribe to this channel now if you face some issues then do let us know in the comments below or you can send it to us on the discord channel as well now if you like this video please make sure to like it and as always i will see you in the next one